Hey, Shalom, Brother Ara, coming to you with another video. I want to give all praise, this honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom to all you Akim, you Akwat, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. I want to do a lesson going into some of the recent news happenings around the world. You know, things are turning up. The Lord is uh, definitely making his presence felt. You know, he's bringing wrath upon his place. As we're going to see here as we read these articles, these events that are happening um, is an example of the Lord's wrath as well as prophecies playing out. Now, I have NewYorkTimes.com. It says what to know about Spain's devastating floods. It says at least 158 people were killed after the downpour, which some residents said was the worst they have had ever witnessed. Okay, as you see here, the picture says destroyed and submerged cars in Alifer, Spain on Thursday after flash floods swept through the region. Flash floods have killed at least 158 people across eastern Spain, according to Spanish authorities, after a uh, the ludge of rain in some places several months worth wow fell in less than a day huh All right so this is the lord's presence his wrath being felt isaiah 28 and 2 it says behold the lord i'm gonna read that again isaiah 28 and 2 says behold the lord hath a mighty and strong one which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand. This is the Lord doing these things. We witnessed uh, uh, last um, few weeks ago or maybe a month ago, those hurricanes that came through uh, Southeast, the Southeast. This is the Lord doing these things, floods, hell, storms, all these different things and these lives that are being taken is actually the Lord doing that as well. First Samuel 2 and 6, it says, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. So those people that they found, you know, uh, dead, 158 bodies, you know, is what they're reporting. The Lord did it. And those that the Lord cho chose to keep alive, he did it as well. He controls life and death. It says he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up so the lord can bring you know someone down to a low estate and bring anyone up that he chooses to you know on a higher level okay it says verse 7 the lord maketh poor and maketh rich he bringeth low and lifteth up so just proving that this is the lord doing these things so in these times as we see prophecies taking place the lord's presence will be felt you got different weather patterns, abnormal weather patterns taking place, things that normally doesn't happen in certain places happening like this here. It says Newsweek.com. Rare. How rare is snow in Hawaii? What what records show? It says a video shared on social media shows a Hawaii summit covered in snow after a winter storm rolled through the Aloha State on Monday and Newsweek spoke to a meteorologist about how often it snows in Hawaii. October is the start of Hawaii's wet season, which runs through April. On Monday morning, meteorologists issued a winter weather advisory for the Big Island. According to the forecast, deep moisture will continue to move over the area today, leading to periods of rain and snow on the high summits. It is not uncommon for snow to fall on Hawaii's volcanic peaks, given their altitude and even blizzard warnings have been issued in Hawaii during the winter months. All right, it says at times advanced skiers travel to Hawaii to ski the volcanic slopes, although there are no ski resorts in the state. So they're saying it's not uncommon. I've never heard of it snowing in Hawaii, but this was a storm, a snowstorm. We just read. In Isaiah 28 and 2, okay, the Lord brings these, these different storms and, you know, uh, basically storms and, and tempests, things of that nature, as I'm going to bring here, uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. 
It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest, uh, which is a violent storm. A winter storm or a snowstorm is actually an example of that. Okay, uh, of, a, of a storm or a violent storm, which brings snow and you know covers the ground uh black ice okay flood as we um we saw it happen in spain but this is the lord visiting this place visit goes back to punish it says in the flame of devouring fire so there's a lot of fires taking place as well forest fires you know house fires cars fire car fires etc none, none of these things that are happening is happening by accident now, on to the next article here. Got a couple articles I want to cover before I close out here. It says North Korea intercontinental ballistic missiles test records longest ever flight time. It says North Korea test fired an, an ICBM uh, missile that flew its longest ever recorded flight time and with a theor uh, theoretical range capable of striking the U.S. mainland, which will happen says South Korea and Japan's militaries reported Thursday. It marked North Korea's first ICBM launch since December and comes as a reclusive nuclear armed country may be seeking to grab U.S. attention ahead of the November 5th presidential election. Now, based off prophecies, we know that America, which is known as Babylon the Great, if you can receive, will be destroyed via nuclear destruction. Now, the scriptures tell us that this war, which we're already in the beginning stages of World War III, if you're measuring the times, will be fought via nuclear missiles. To prove that here, Isaiah 9 and 5, it says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. See, this war is going to be fought differently than the wars that were fought in ancient time. We all know, we've seen stories and movies of, you know, wars that were fought in, in past times. You know, you got the warriors that were covered in, you know, they, their, their armor with their shields, helmets, swords. You got the horses. They also use, you know, arrows and different weapons that they hand handheld. You know, their fists, things of that nature, blood would be everywhere, heads would be severed. But this war is going to be fought via the ICBM missile. So the Lord is actually per perfecting the very uh, instrument that he's going to use to destroy America, Babylon the Great. All right. Which is those ICBM missiles. So, yes, we understand that these countries that, are, that have nuclear capability will perfect, you know, their missiles that they're going that the Lord is going to have them use. All right, for, to fulfill his will. Now, Proverbs 20, 22 and 3. No, Salaki, I like that scripture, but it's not the one. Proverbs 21 and 1 says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, meaning these leaders. So the leaders that the Lord set up, and I'm specifically speaking of the leaders of these nations that have nuclear capability, have war on their mind. And they've been prepping for war for a long time. Whether they knew they were or not, they they put on their men, they, they put it in their mentality. The Lord put in their mentality, Salakia, to uh, invest and expand a budget for these uh, nukes. Whether they knew or not, see the Lord controls the minds of these kings, meaning these leaders. So here we are now, and uh, it's all coming back full circle and uh, being revealed that this is how the Third World's War will be fought. It says, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord controls and controls the minds of these leaders to do his will. So they're not doing anything by accident. Now, as I mentioned, you know, the missiles, these instruments uh, th that the Lord will use, the ICBMs, will be perfected. It will be perfected and to reach its destination and hit specifically its target all of the missiles that will be shot off over from the foreign lands of these nations with nukes 
will be shot over perfectly. So we get why, we should know why, right? North Korea uh, has a mindset and has a capability now for ICBMs to shoot long range and reach America, which by the way, they celebrated it when they uh, first learned of that test or, or tried to test and uh, feature a year ago. You know, learning that they, it could reach America. All right, because this is prophecy. Now, Jeremiah uh, 50 and 9 says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. If you can't receive, Babylon is America. All right, Babel, uh, Babylon goes back to Babal, which means confusion. This is the land of confusion. That has pushed out all of its wickedness, weirdoism, uh, witchcraft, sorcery throughout the planet Earth. And the major influence in the hub of the Edomite rulership which are the so-called white people that's ruling in these times. The main hub is America, okay? So Lord is, uh, has raised up an army, right? It says an assembly of great nations from the North country. So these great nations from the North country is all, is, is a part of that, uh, you know, um, some of our alliances of, of Russia, because Russia, Gog Magog, is a leading forefront of the nuclear capability behind America. So you have America number one. Yeah, we, we acknowledge that America has the most uh, most powerful nukes and capability, but Russia is right behind them. And Russia is being raised up, known as Gog Magog, and the scriptures to have the nuclear capability, just as powerful, if not more, right? But not only that, are they're also leading the pack, working with Iran, you know, Syria, uh, being a garden to some of these nations, North Korea, working with North Korea. You also have China building their capability. Okay. It says, so the Lord is raising them up to cause them to come against America. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her in formation against Babylon the Great. So uh, if not, if they're not, being pointed now to America, these nukes, they eventually will be, right? Because they will be shot off. It says from thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. So these arrows, which are missiles, uh, Jeremiah used this specific word to describe the ICBMs. And they're gonna be shot off, you know, just like uh, the the pattern of how a, a, a an arrow is shot from a, uh, you know, a bow, you know, goes up in the arch. So these missiles are going to go up, you know, out of the atmosphere, come down, bam, right on America, Babylon the Great, from one continent to another. So that's, this is why everything is being precisely enhanced to perfection, because the Lord says it's going to be as, a, as an ID, uh, a mighty expert man. Let's go into his word expert. Prudent, wisely, uh, uh, wisely understand, prosperous, uh, insight. Um, okay, so these these um, scientists that the leaders are of these nations are demanding and commanding, which they're being controlled by the Lord, are setting up these scientists to be very wise and circumspect to precision on building these nukes and they will be perfected for this world's war three it says none shall return in vain and as you see here in the nlt i'm gonna read the whole thing it says jeremiah 59 for i am raising up an army of great nations from the north they will join forces to attack babylon <laughs> so the leading of that pack again is gog magog and these and some of these other nations man okay as i mentioned north korea uh, Iran, um, China, okay, just to name a few. You remember the allies of America, you know, the allies in NATO, you know, they're going to hate the whore. So, the scriptures say the beast shall hate the whore. That whore is America, Babylon the Great. Why? Because of its pride, its arrogance, its uh, tyranny, right? It says, and she will be captured. 
and and because of prophecy it's going to be fulfilled right but reading on it says and she will be captured the enemy's arrows will go straight to the mark you know those missiles are going to hit their mark it says they will not miss so no missile is going to explode in the atmosphere and, uh miss the target no they're all going to be perfectly um hitting their mark right so this is what's happening we in the time of world war three the beginning stages and there's an article also that goes into that newsweek.com says world war three has already begun jp morgan boss says and found out i believe jp morgan is actually uh behind setting up bricks so they're involved you know they're involved in these things it says a top executive at jp morgan has sounded the alarm about the beginning of world war three you think all these tariff charges air strikes allies are being set up you know uh what's the saying the enemy of my enemy is my friend so these uh nations are taking sides okay i know north korea just sent i think ten thousand troops over to the border of russia you know to support russia okay so world war three has begun we're in the beginning stages it says the banking uh, institution ceo jamie uh, Diamond said in a recent speech at the Institute of International Finance that the current conflict in Ukraine and the Middle East has already begun a third world war. Diamond previously called Russia, North Korea, and Iran Certainly, we are deeply <laughs> an by evil that. axis that, uh, by alongside China, that will hurt UNRWA, institutions uh, like NATO. In West Bank, Gaza, and also okay. uh, East Jerusalem. So you can't so make this up. These, of Israel, this, this, this is true. This, this is beginning the World War Three. Revelation uh, 11 and 14 says the second world was passed, meaning the second world, world's war. It already came to pass. It was prophecy at one point in time, and then eventually that prophecy came to pass. It says, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. And we're in the beginning of this world's war three, which, by the way, is coming quickly. The missiles are uh, visual. You can see. That these nations are flaunting their capability they're doing these uh you know um military marches declaring their military strength right before the lord uses them to destroy babylon the great america he's going to when yahweh comes back he's going to take down all these nations because this is a a, um, a fulfillment about to happen being set up for the everlasting kingdom with the right. government of Israel to pause. So we're in the beginning stages of World War III. We urge the government of Israel Last to one ensure article here is from TikTok says its mission to facilitate humanitarian it says, uh, but we also if you're not aware, steps TikTok is being banned in the U.S. Well, I believe it says, that, uh, um, quote, and because we, including to, uh, because we learn, to we're learning a lot that they covered, don't want us to know. Uh, to ties to terror, uh, netizens so. raised concerns over TikTok January 2025 ban. Popular social media app TikTok might get banned in the U.S. as both significant political parties of the country supported the ban. As reported by The Verge on September 17, 2024, the ban will take place if ByteDance does not sell the app. For the unversed, ByteDance is a Chinese company that owns the video sharing app. So, uh, you know, they're saying they're saying it's talks of them banning it in the U.S., but we'll see. The scripture does says knowledge shall increase. Right. A lot of insight information is being pushed out in these times and a lot of people are learning about uh things that are happening throughout the planet earth one of those things is who are the israelites who are the true israelites according to the bible of course we know the so-called negroes latinos hispanics native americans you know prophecies are, are, are um also prophets are going into prophecies you know a lot of uh, our teachers their lessons are on tiktok their short clips and being passed around millions of views you know per day on uh, uh, these short clips you know so yeah it makes sense as to why they would want to ban it and we do know based off prophecy let's see uh let's see bear with me where 
what is it? Yeah, there we go. Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So we do know that a famine of the word will, will actually happen. Because a lot of Israelites are learning that they're, you know, on Israelites and learning about the things that are happening throughout the planet Earth and the reason behind why these things are happening via because of prophecy. They're learning about it on platforms like TikTok, social media, the Internet. So they're going to take down some of these platforms. Uh, they're going to censor a lot of these platforms, you know, all these platforms, because this is a fulfillment of a famine of the word. Just like there'll be a fulfillment of famine of, of food and famine of water. Right? Verse 12 says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the, the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So it's going to come a point in time where, you know, people are going to be looking for information. Our people are going to be looking for answers. But it's going to be too late for a lot of our people. And you're going to need this information uh, coupled with uh, faith in Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai in the times we're coming in to be stable. You know, the old word stable goes back to faith and to be firm in these times. So, yeah, I just want to do a lesson going into the times we're living in. You know, uh, a lot's happening from beginning stages of World War Three. Uh, them talking about banning TikTok. Floods happening in Spain. The Lord is deleting people left and right. And um, prophecy continues to intensify in these last days of this man's wicked rulership. All praises to Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.